I, what if I just ate one of these? No, don't do it. Bro, that's super hot. Don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. Bro! What are you doing, bro? Uh, that's that's soap. But it looks like it Thought looks like a, like a candy. You put it down. Doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a candy? Put it down, please. Uh, okay. What about this one? Bro, stop. Stop, stop. No? Put it, dude, that's gross, man. Someone's gonna put that I'm gonna buy it now. Because uh, I want to try this anyways. Okay, so. What's, what's going on, guys? Bradley Martin here. Um, today I'm gonna teach you guys seven. Seven? Seven, five, five, six, five, five four. Three, two, fuck one. it, we're going, we're done. Five, we're done. No, seriously, five. We're done. Five. Five. Five foods you need to be eating for gains. And if you're not, you're not making gains. Period. So if you want to know what those five foods are, keep watching. That's a lie. No, seriously. If you're not eating these foods, you probably have no gains. Damn. So, okay. <laughs> you look, probably look like Kev. Yeah. And don't eat, don't eat so, soap, yeah. Yeah, don't. Anyways, so I'm going to show you what these five foods are. Okay. First one. Let's go. First one. We're going to head over this way. Yeah. It smells really fishy. I think, that's the, I think that's why most people don't eat it. Why? But I want to talk about it real quick. Salmon. Well, you want you to fish. put that on top. Salmon. Not just any fish. Not just, because most people eat, what do they eat when they die? Most people eat tilapia. Yeah. But little do they know that tilapia is a bottom feeder. It's, a, it's, it's face, it's like this. Yeah. It's like this. Yeah. It's an eye like this and it sits on the bottom of the floor and it eats all the shit and stuff that falls to the bottom of the floor. So stop eating tilapia, start eating salmon. Don't be afraid of the fats. And that's the whole point of this, right? People like, they just eat chicken, they eat lean turkey, which is all that stuff is great. Yeah. But the health benefit to salmon, I mean, it's just better. Omega-3s, right? What are omega-3s? Why do people take like uh, fish oils, right? This is, I mean, you can eat it. Now, I know why they don't, is because sometimes they don't like the taste of it. Yeah. But there's cool ways you can cook this. I'm not gonna teach you that right now, though. But I'm just trying to tell you and encourage you. Maybe I'll make a, maybe I'll make another cooking video, because I used to make cooking videos, I was like a chef. Yeah, bring um, it back, throw it back. Maybe I'll bring it back. But the benefits to this guy, is tons of omega-3s. You guys are probably supplementing with like fish oils. Great for inflammation. Um, great for a ton of stuff, like brain function, muscle building, everything. And the, I think the only thing you gotta like try and stay away from when you're getting fish is like uh, farmed farm salmon though. Yeah. Cause then it's like, they, they feed them shit pretty yeah. much and they don't have like a real like nutrient content of yeah. like healthy omega threes. So you're kind of missing the whole point. You might as well just eat chicken. So if you could buy like, it's well, it's, but the only, and then, then the next thing, the next hardest level to this is like, it's hard for people to buy it cause it's fucking expensive. Yeah. So, so do what you can. Do what you can. Um, if, if you can't eat fish, like I don't eat fish every day. Um, I always supplement with omega threes, so that's the whole point of this one food. Because most people they think bodybuilder, they think being in shape. Most of the time, it's like chicken. tilapia chicken or chicken, rice. and like like lean lean beef. Yeah. And just this is fun. You just got it's a little little bit more difficult to cook, but this is something that is definitely like It'll feel uh, lighter on you too. Yeah. It should be it should be a staple. Faster. It should be a staple. Um, it should be a staple for me, but might be like some of you guys and not do it. But I'm telling you, and I'm trying to encourage you to go do it. If you can cook it, awesome. If you can get it like the fresh stuff, even better. And if not, make sure you're taking omega threes. So that's number one then, healthy omega threes. Number two, um, I don't want to go over there yet. Yeah? Yeah, I don't want to go over there yet. Why, because it's green? It's a little too green for me over there. All right, let's go over here. Uh, let's go that way. It's actually, you know, I was thinking about it as we we're going to the quinoa over here. What? It's actually easy to kind of cook fish. You just wrap it in tin foil. Yeah. And like literally, like put sauce and stuff on it, or like onions or some like mushroom, yeah. something you like on top of it. And then you just like wrap it so it's closed. So it's like a, like a boat, like a tin foil boat. You put it in the oven at like three three twenty five, and just like give it time, and it cooks. So. Where's the quinoa? Uh, where's the quinoa? Quinoa. Quinoa. Go over there. Go, call, quinoa. Call, call call over there. Quinoa. Uh, I think it's here. I feel like it's, I feel like it's here. No, gluten free, because it is gluten free. It's not here. 100 facts. 100 facts about, 100 facts about quinoa. You ready? Yeah, go. You don't okay. know 100 facts. 100 facts. Complete protein. Okay. This is white quinoa. Okay. That's green. That says organic. Okay. That says 365. Stop. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Seriously, quinoa is a dope protein. It's not a grain, it's a seed. You guys probably didn't know that. It's a carb and a protein. It's a carb and a protein, and it's a complete protein, which means it has all the essential amino acids and a ton of non-essential ones as well. Um, this is super underrated. Underrated. I think, I think it's one of the most underrated foods. Do you feel better when you eat this or like brown rice? This. For sure, right? Most of the food that I eat day to day is probably white rice. Yeah. And if I were to eat like a, 
a different kind of protein or a different kind of carb. It would be either this, black beans, or um, chips. Yeah, let's stay away from the chips, guys. Yeah. So not the chips. Black beans are fine. Black lentils are awesome as well. But this is like just, I think it's just super underrated because I think the first reason why I didn't get these this way back in the day was because it seemed hippie and I didn't know how to pronounce it correctly. It sounds like a, I feel like it's a character in Lion King. Pronounce it. Quinoa. Quinoa. See? It's a character Lion, in Lion King. Lion King. But it's super oh. legit though. So you guys, give this a shot. It's actually not that hard to cook. That's the real reason why I didn't get that first. Cause I was like, ah, it's impossible to cook. Because I look at it and be like, it's not. It's just it like rice. It's just like rice. Yeah. It's the same shit. Um, so do that. And it's also gluten free. Wow. It's amazing, and it has essentially, and it has like a good fatty acids in it as well. So this is this is like this is up there. Fish and that, but you're good. Yeah, this and fish, and you probably will never die. You'll yeah. live forever, and make gains forever. Where's my phone blowing up? Next uh, food. Yeah, next food. All right, guys. Fun fact. Okay. Give me a fun fact. I was gonna make some inappropriate jokes, but I'm not gonna make inappropriate jokes. This this is not an inappropriate joke. Bell peppers. Yeah. Hands down, probably. I, one of my favorite vegetables. Now, confirm this is a vegetable, Kev. Confirm. Okay, confirm. The coolest thing about these, I'm you're like, sure. you'd be like, wait a minute, vitamin C. You're like orange. You're like orange. Yeah. But but this it has, has so much. So much more vitamin C. Wow. Red bell pepper. Then an orange. And then an orange. Yes. No way. Yes, Kev. You're learning new things today. Damn, that's um, crazy. And it also tastes good. And this is probably one of the easiest vegetables to eat because all you really have to do is wash it and cut it and then eat it. If you don't even want to cook it. Really? Yeah. No, I'm not playing. Like this is probably one of the best. It, it's. I mean, just hands down, it's the most tasty. Damn you! This, the quinoa, and the bro, you like. You guys are getting set it, up. Yo. Yeah. Even eggplant emojis. That's a. Weird. <laughs> That's a good choda. Yeah. Chodi. Chod emoji. Anyways. Chod emoji. Um, yeah. Don't sleep on bell peppers. You can get any one you like, but the red one has the most vitamin C. So you can, So I picked the red one, but honestly, like, you just mix them up together, chop them up. Like, they're good. You can put them in anything. So you're getting the vitamin C, but. Not all the sugar, right? Exactly. Yeah. And it's fiber. Hey. I think it's almost, I'm not sure. I think it might be more fiber. Yeah. Than orange. Wow. Uh, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But it tastes better. It's more vegetable, way less sugar, vitamin C, uh, and it makes your dish look pretty in case you're trying to impress a guest. And something about uh, capsaicin. Or oh, it's got capsaicin in it, which is like, obviously, you know, like you guys are in like, uh, like cayenne and like. Yeah. Uh, and you have pepper, right? Peppers, right? And it's, it's a natural fat burner. So. Damn. So you're getting fat burning. Yep, fat burning. Your fiber is good. And then those other two. All foods, you have to do is eat this. This and the other two, and you're set. That's it. You can just, everything else can just retire. Yeah. So, but I'm not even playing, guys. This, it just tastes good, too. These ones are not as tasty. The red ones are better. The red ones, and the yellow ones, and the orange ones. I like red. Wash them, cut them, you're good. Good to go. Um, Next food. Yeah, I'll just, can I, what if I just ate one of these? No, don't do it. Bro, that's super hot. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Bro! Are you gonna pay for it? Uh huh. You no, just, no, no, no. Bro, you just. Is it hot? Mm hmm. <laughs> that was bland, bro. How hot is it? Scale from 1 to 10. On my scale, it's like a 4. Oh, it's not that bad. I, I, oh, I like hot food. That's true. It's probably be an 8 for me. Yeah, ain't nothing. Um, next food. Next food. We gotta go to Greece for this. We gotta what? We gotta go all, all the way to Greece. Alright, I'm gonna fly to Greece. I'll all see right, you there, let's bro. Let's go. Yeah, I flew all the way from Greece. To from Greece? Well, I from from Greece back to here. I brought it. Oh, wow. I brought the Greek yogurt. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I had to get to Greece. Came back to the Whole Foods here. Just to get there. Just to get there. So, guys, they want to know the coolest thing about Greek yogurt. What's the coolest thing? It's full of protein. That's not the coolest. Number thing. one. That's number one. Okay. Well, number two. It's like a glue. What do you mean glue? Glue meaning like you could chop up like berries and strawberries and throw them in there with a little bit of honey. Oh. Amazing. Why don't you just use regular Elmer's glue instead of that? We use what? Elmer's glue. Like, you know, the Because that would be disgusting. Oh shit. It looks no, same, no? this is basically it's like a it's like a it's like a portal to like making other food taste good as well. That's true. Yeah. yeah. You know what's even cooler? What? You? Me. Yourself. Myself. You don't have to cook it. So <laughs> so that means no one has to cook it. Exactly. I get it. I see where you're going with this, and yeah. this is actually this is probably the biggest benefit to it because I, especially for you, especially for me, am not the biggest uh, chef. No, but I'm really I mean, you're good pretty at big. Like 
I'm a, if I if I was a chef, I would be the biggest chef. <laughs> yeah, you but low key. Would. I'm not really that great. At, I mean, I like cooking stuff, but I'd rather just like eat it. Yeah. Um, so this is amazing because you guys just pick this up off the shelf. You're gonna get a lot of protein. It's not shitty for you. And by that I mean you could put other cool things in it. Yeah. And it's Greek. Yeah. And for some reason, Greek yogurt is like fancier than regular yogurt. Why, Kevin? Way fancier. Why fancier? Because uh, they strain it a certain way. Yeah. Um, it's more refined. It is. It's just fancy, you know? So don't get regular yogurt, get this yogurt. If it's honestly the price is super similar to it. Yeah. So if you're getting this or getting that or Might whatever. Get a big tub, you know? Exactly. Get a big tub, get a little bit of honey, maybe a little bit of granola. My favorite is blueberries. Chop a little bit of strawberries and put it in there, like mix it up. You got an amazing snack, you didn't have yeah. to cook shit, all you had to do was like throw it in, in like a bowl. So we got before, you know, the fish, quinoa, it's a great meal, a great snack. Yeah, this is an amazing snack, so give this a shot. This is one of my favorite snacks. Um, true shit. Actually, this was like the thing that I, I remember when I was like contest prepping and stuff too. This was the thing I had to like only buy a certain amount because I would eat the whole thing. Oh, wow. Because you get a little bit of sugar in it and from the, like the berries and stuff, so I'd be like, oh yeah, I can get a snack. And if you know, I was eating like 15 snacks in a one sitting. And then I was like, I need to stop buying as much of this. So if you're dieting, uh, it's it's a it's an amazing tool. It just makes you only buy like one jug at a time. Otherwise, you eat the whole thing and be like, what did I do? Uh, and then you'll be like, you get like the diet annoyance thing where you, you just. Anyways, next food. Uh, hold on, one more thing. What? Next food. You know what's really good? What's really good? Peanut butter. You know what's even better? What's better? Almond butter. Why? Or some other kind of nut butter. You know peanut butters? You know, did you know peanuts grow in the ground? Wow. In the floor? Just remember talking about the tilapia, like the bottom feeder? Yeah. Peanuts are like the bottom feeder of like nuts. What are the almonds? Because like dirt and it, I mean, it's like, I mean, obviously they need to be in dirt, but yeah. like it's other deepened. stuff goes down there. Oh. Like, you know, they spray the fields and yeah. like all the shit seeps on it, but almonds grow on trees. True. So it like comes and falls off. It doesn't like soak in it. And because like the pesticides grow on and all the so they even higher. Cashews. cashews do not grow on airplanes. They don't. Not unless you like put a cashew plant grower on an airplane. And, That's what I meant, bro. What do you think I, I meant? I, I, I don't know. But my point is like you know they put pesticides on fucking everything because it's yeah. California. Yeah. And those things, if it seeps into the floor and on top of the the peanuts, and it just soaks them. Yeah. Versus right. these, it just kind of goes over and probably goes down and then drips off into where the peanuts are, and then the peanuts. See what I'm saying? So like less pesticides are better. So better. <sighs> Almond butter is better. And honestly, I like the taste better. That's a personal opinion. You might have to, I mean, you probably, I don't know. Everyone's got a different opinion, but. Why is it good? Uh, get into that, bro. The most important reason why, besides the fact that uh, I think it tastes better, you don't have to cook it. That's another non-cooker. And actually you can mix some of this with the Greek yogurt, with the, with the blueberries and with the strawberries. It tastes amazing. Also, it has a lot of calories. So if and, you're yeah, the people hit me up, they're like, I can't gain weight, I can't gain weight, I'm doing everything, I swear, I'm doing it all. And I'm like, hmm, how about eating more? And they're like, oh, but I do, I eat a lot. And I'm like, because the reality is, is if you are gaining, in like, fat or muscle, whatever, the only thing you need to do is eat more. Yeah. Right? If you're, if you're training properly, you should be gaining, let's say, yeah. if you eat just the right amount, but if you eat too much, you're going to gain both. Yeah. So if you're gaining nothing, it's simple. You're yeah. not eating enough, period. I don't care what you're doing. It does not matter. Like, if you sat and you didn't do anything all day, and you, and you were gaining weight, your body naturally is gonna put on a little bit of muscle, because you get bigger, it's gonna put on fat, right? It's all genetic thing, but if none of that's happening, calories, you need more of them. So this is a real easy way to get like two spoonfuls like in the morning, or like one at night, one in, one in, uh, in the evening, yeah, actually, and like, your calories like four or 500 calories, yeah. and now you're not a hard gainer anymore. You're just a gainer. Wow. So now it's not hard to gain anymore, it's wow. just gaining. You're just a gainer. Yeah. Or like a gainer, not like the 500, trick though. 500 calories is gonna be like a whole meal for someone, right? Yeah, like they put together like a protein, a carb. Yeah. So it's just an easy way to extra calories. Like like I said, you do in the morning or at night or like at the end of a meal, just like to just to get extra calories in with a meal yep. um, and you'll be good to go. So I like to chew, what's my favorite almond butter? Honestly, I like this. Crunchy? Crunchy. But I've never had this though. Fruit and, fruit and cashew? Let's not do that, bro. What? It's got other stuff in it? It's, it's not, oh, but bro. it's vegan, gluten free, no GMOs, dairy free, paleo. Well, let's not get too fruity, bro. What are you, what are you trying to say, dog? I'm just saying. I like strawberries? That's fruit. You got something wrong with fruit? Blueberry's also a fruit, bro. I know. Look, this is blueberry. I like, Cinnamon. I like strawberries. Blueberries, walnuts, fruits. But damn, that does look good, though. Maybe try that too. Yeah. But the whole point, too, is like, this has a better as well, like a better fat um, contents than peanuts, anyways. Yeah. That's all, so fats. you want more monounsaturated fats, right? You want more omega-3s, all that good stuff. So 
I mean, you just win it. You can win everywhere. You win with quinoa, you win with the uh, almond butter, you win with the Greek yogurt, you win with the salmon. It's healthier for you. Because if you guys want to feel good, you want to look good, you want to perform good. And make gains. And make gains, you got to eat good. It's simple. What's the, what's the last one? That's it, that's five, bro. I'm gonna give him one more. Yeah? One more of my personal favorite. This is probably not the most nutritious. It's probably not like the oh. fanciest food, but I'm gonna give you my favorite. Okay, let's go. Uh, it's right here. Try mangoes. It's oh, a lot yeah? of sugar. So, if you're gonna eat this, like I eat this like a fucking fiend, and I sh probably Don't should just eat it after workout or before workout. Yeah. But hands down, like I'm not even gonna go into details about how amazing it is, because like, I don't wanna blow your guys' mind. Yeah. It's really not that amazing. It's just a lot of sugar. It tastes good. <laughs> um, so it's like candy. It's pretty much like candy, <laughs> but it's one of my favorite candies. Okay. Besides Sour Patch Kids. Would you so rather I, have that or Sour Patch, Patch Kids? Probably that well, I mean, I'd rather eat Sour Patch Kids, but like that shit is fucking horrible for you, so I might as well just eat something that's probably like just as much sugar, but not like processed, like yeah, yeah. gelatin, like infused. Yeah. Dry mangoes. Yeah, dry mangoes. So dry mangoes are amazing. If you guys want to be a, a, a fat guy like me sometimes, get some dry mangoes. It's a healthy snack. What else? That's one of my, that's honestly, I've been eating dry mango since I was like negative four. Negative four. Negative four. Nice, dude. So now that I'm four, uh, it's been eight years. Wow. Um, what else? That's it, dude. That's it. I love you guys. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. YouTube makes us do a bunch Hit of shit. Hit the little now. bell. Hit the little bell. Jump, YouTube, jump through yeah, some hoops. Do some hoops. Like, YouTube is, YouTube's really making us do this, though, now. I know. They're like, we want to make this as difficult as possible for all the content creators. Fuck you guys. We just want to make it really same easy. Same with Instagram, so, too. Same with Instagram. So we can just, like, make sure big companies can pay us money for advertising space and everyone can get on YouTube Red and make us more money and, and the content creators can get fucked. That's honestly what's going on with YouTube right okay. now. Okay, we'll make our own platform. We'll fuck your views and we'll fucking whatever. We'll make our own platform. It's gonna be called, uh, yeah, you said it, us two. You already said it. Yeah. Us two. Make it us two. Us two. Us. I'm, I'm making it right now. As we're speaking, I'm on my phone behind the camera right now. No, you're not, because you're holding the camera and your phone's like, no, right it's here. right here, bro. Show them then. Prove it. I'm right here. Oh, now dude. you're pulling out your pocket. No, no, I've had it the whole time right there, bro. No, okay. You're a fucking, you're, you're just like the YouTube, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, but yeah, subscribe guys. We love you. Uh, oh, also, what videos like? Uh, give us some more ideas. We need your ideas, please. Cooking with Bradley Martin. Cooking, but with Bradley Martin and a guest. No, cookie with Bradley. I cookie. say cookie. I'm kidding. Cooking, yeah. Yeah, cooking with a guest. Yeah. What kind of guest should we I have? I don't know, bro. I think that they have, we have a good idea. And they have. I think ideas. we have a few. Good ideas. Good ideas. But yeah, let us know if you guys want to see like specific cooking videos or things that have to do with food or like making gains or anything. Comment below, let us know. We're out, I love you. Um, a couple more of these, bro. I know, I was trying to get some sign language in there. I don't know how to spell my name. Can someone? Uh, I, Very good. This, I'm doing stuff here. I know these are things. Sorry, I'm not trying to show disrespect to any American Sign Language people. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. This is for Kev, though. Oh. I'm out. Who's Kev? It's you, bro. No, the guy, I'm it's out. a guy over there. Later, bro. All right, man, pay for my stuff. All right, dude. I'm gonna go back here. For sure, bro. I'm just gonna leave it there.